First, let's look at some basic info and settings of the camera. Click the setting button on top right. Now you can see the basic information of your camera in this tab. Click the pen button to set a name for this device. Click the refresh button to get the latest battery percentage. In this block, you can check your Wi-Fi connection. For better use experience. We suggest to use your device with full Wi-Fi strength, 3 out of 3. If you need to switch to another Wi-Fi, please click this button. The next tab is for motion detection settings. Click the first switch on top to turn on or turn off motion detection. Click the second switch for notifications. You can turn on the third switch if you only need to record humanoid detections. The high-level humanoid detection will only record videos when the AI software is very sure a human show up. So, turning on humanoid detection will help you filter the recordings and record less videos. Besides, high-level motion detection will record every motion happened in 16 feet. So, it will record more videos than medium and low-level motion detection sensitivity. In Sharing tab, you can share this device with your friends or families. Of course, they need to register for their own iWid account first. To watch the recorded detections, click the playback button on top right. Now you can see all the recorded videos here before expire. The motion icon under the video indicate it's recorded due to motion detection. And the playback icon indicate this video is recorded when real-time monitoring. You can click the icon on the right to filter your recorded videos. To enter real-time monitor interface, click the play button in the middle. If you want to hear from the camera, click the volume button. If you want to speak via the camera, click the microphone button. If you find any question or problem about the device, please feel free to message us in the app. Or send email to our tech support team. That's all. Thanks for watching.